This actually represents the uh, almost the 20th anniversary of a meeting which the AACR sponsored in Puerto Rico, which was the very first meeting uh, really bringing to the forefront the possibilities of using DNA methylation and chromatin uh, to understand cancer and to develop new kinds of drugs and therapies based upon that knowledge. Well, the ASCR special conferences have a real <laughs> special place uh, in sort of the conference agenda because they're pretty small, you know, maybe a couple of hundred people, but they're very, a, a, a tremendous focus on a particular area. Uh, and uh, in this particular case, once again, we have a strong translational um, output. In other words, we want to try and take what we've, what we've discovered in the lab and actually use it in patients. And there are two major things we'll be looking at at this conference. Firstly, can we restore sensitivity of tumors to standard therapies? So many patients, for example, with ovarian cancer, develop resistance to the therapies which are used to, to treat them. Uh, these are chemical uh, chemotherapies. But another very, very exciting area is the combination of epigenetic drugs with immunotherapy. So this is using the body's own immune system to target the cancer. And what we're seeing in many different kinds of studies is that if we use immuno, uh, immunotherapy together with epigenetic therapy, we can really increase the uh, efficacy and the outcome for patients. So we'll be looking at that in great detail at the meeting. Well, what's exciting me is the final realization after 20 years that epigenetics has moved to the center stage of uh, our understanding of cancer, our treatment of cancer, and our detection of cancer. It's taken a long time, but it's now front and center, and it'll be very important for us to get together and see how we can make the most of what we already know. Epigenetics is a very, very hot field of research. And so for young investigators, it gives them the opportunity to uh, use the very latest uh, laboratory-based techniques, uh, wet lab stuff, uh, but also using high-powered uh, <coughs> informatics to try and look at the, to, the totality of what's going on in cancer cells at the level of the epigenome. And so it's a very um, uh, exciting time for them, and I think it gives them lots of opportunities uh, for future career development. The ASCR has had a major impact in the field of epigenetics. It's played a leadership role, first of all, in organizing that first meeting I mentioned 20 years ago. The ASCR was an early supporter of the Human Epigenome Project. This is an international project which the ASCR helped um, stimulate to map a whole bunch of uh, cancer and normal epigenomes, which had never been done before. And the ASCR has provided probably about, uh, I would guess, about six to 10 special conferences, which have really been at the vanguard over the last 20 years in seeing this, uh, this whole area come to fruition. I think it's gonna be a very exciting meeting. I think it's gonna really, um, a lot of the people that were there 20 years ago will be there. But probably more important, there'll be a, whole, a lot of new people, uh, you know, the next generation of epigenetic scientists. And I think the sort of balance between the two is what's gonna make this a very exciting meeting. Thank you.